Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. It is a wet and rainy nor'easter Tuesday here in Connecticut on the coast. All right, two stories I want to talk about today. Kind of do with sports and entertainment. Uh, let's just get right into it. First story has to do with Alec Baldwin. If you look, if you saw my community page already, the post on my community page, there's a picture of a T-shirt that Donald Trump is selling. Uh, this is just, I, you know, I, I don't get it. What the Republican Party has become. You know, like I I've I told you guys over and over again, you know, it was a mistake. I voted for Ronald Reagan back in 18 and what the Republican Party was then and what it is now is just unbelievable. The transformation into this, I don't even know if it's a political party at this point. It is more of a cult. Anyway, so if you look at my community page, there's a t-shirt Donald Trump's making. He's selling this. I got two different prices I heard, $27.99 and $28.99. Almost $30 for a basic black t-shirt with simple white lettering. Silk screen. God knows what this, this costs in, uh, in bulk. Probably a couple bucks. The, the, the profit, uh, as usual, the profit that Trump Jr. is making off... See, this, this, I think the reason this bothers me is because I just lost somebody close. As you guys know, Audrey passed away. My best friend, ex-girlfriend, passed away from uh, quickly from COVID-19 this summer. A healthy 55-year-old woman. And uh, the pain I feel every single day, I, I, I think about something happens. And I think about texting her or tweeting, you know, uh, texting her or calling her. And then I realize I can't. She's gone. And this happens every day, several times a day still. It's, it's just two and a half months later. It's painful, man. It is, you know, and I forgot. I've lost a lot of people in my life. And I forgot how freaking painful this is. It sucks. And for Donald Trump to, to, to just think, it's once again, it, it's the, the, the Trump family, the, fan, the, the cult of Trump. Uh, thinking they're so cute and clever. Uh, he makes a t-shirt. If you look at my community page, he's got a t-shirt that says, um, I, I got to be careful what I say on here. Uh, blank, don't kill, doesn't kill people. Alex Baldwin kills people. Um, to say this is in poor taste, the thing that just gets to me here is it doesn't cross his mind at all that about the family of this young woman, Helenia, Hel Helenia Hutchins, I believe her name is. I'm sorry, you guys know I'm bad with names if I got that wrong. And the other, the other uh, production member that was injured too on the set. Uh, for me personally, this is not a, uh, a uh, Second Amendment issue by any means. To, to me, per my opinion here, this is a uh, workplace safety issue. A union workplace safety issue, union issue. Uh, to me, it, it, it's it's not a Second Amendment. I don't. I don't. I don't, I, I don't feel it's a Second Amendment issue whatsoever. You know this. It, this 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 thing should have never been on the set. This should have never happened. Uh, to me, this has no no bearing whatsoever on the Second Amendment. But anyway, Don Trump Jr. thinks he's being so cute and clever. Uh, you know, and Candace Owens tweeted that this is poetic justice for Alec Baldwin's uh, portrayal of Donald Trump. You know, once again, God forbid you make fun of their uh, cult leader. And it does, it seems like it doesn't even click to any of these people that there's family, there's dozens of family and friends out there that are grieving the pain every day, every hour of every day, the loss of this person from their life. And to say, and to say can you imagine what this, this woman's family, you know, because of course they're going to see this, this t-shirt. Can you imagine, you know, and, it, you know, blank, don't kill, it doesn't kill people. Alex Baldwin does. You know, and, and if, if they, when they see that, and the, the, the coarseness, and, and just the, I don't get it, man. I, I don't. I, I, I don't get how people could say, oh, it's just, you know, grow up, man. It's, you know, it's a joke. Uh, you know, I don't know. Again, maybe it's because I, 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 I feel fresh uh, grief right now. I, I just can't imagine this being, and then to profit on this too. 
And, and to think it's so cute and clever, I, I, for the life of me, man, I, and, and, and on top of all that, to consider this man's father to be future president again of the, of the country, and to say that I am just perplexed, yeah, I, it is putting it lightly. All right, next thing I want to talk about, like I said, the links will all be down below to that. I'll, I'll have a... Uh, uh, the links to the, everything I just talked about. All right, the second one I want to talk about, Tony Romo. Now, you guys know I'm not a sports guy. Uh, I'm not. I've told you guys before. I don't say this proudly or bragging. I, I'm not a team player. I never have been. I, I'm very independent. I, I, I enjoy sports, but I enjoy solo sports. I enjoy competing against myself, being better than I was yesterday. I've always enjoyed skiing, skateboarding, bicycle, bicycling, uh, things where I'm competing, surfing, where, where I'm competing against myself. It's a challenge. Rock climbing, caving. Um, I don't know if caving is speed lunking is a sport. But anyway, uh, so, you know, talking about this, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of talking out of my, my arena here. All right, Tony Romo. He's a sportscaster. I know, I basically know he's a quarterback for, he was a quarterback for the, for the Cowboys. So, Again, I'm gonna have the tweet. The, I'm gonna have the uh, clip down below. The tweet, the clip, for, so you guys can see this yourself. But there, there's an outtake where I guess he was, you know, doing his sports casting. Okay, so um, the Patriots quarter, uh, the Buccaneers quarterback there, Tom Brady, threw the 600, his 600th touchdown pass. Right, big deal. And he gives the ball. I don't get why. I, I'm, I read all this. I didn't watch it. So if I get something wrong. You know, you guys could take me to task for it. I, I, he gives the ball to people that are wearing his jersey, number 13, right? And uh, it's, it sounds like he gave the ball to, to the fan. But then the Buccaneers uh, staff went and negotiated to get the ball back because it's a very relevant, important ball. This, you know, as he, say, he said, a very important record. So the Buccaneers staff is talking to the fan negotiating getting the ball back and you can't hear what they're saying but Tony Romo being a jokester I guess uh puts his own his own wording in and he basically says uh, he makes it sound like the there's a deal going on between the Buccaneer staff and the guy with the ball trading Giselle Bunchen, J Tom Brady's wife for the ball uh he Tony Romo says something along the lines like, well, come on, we got to get the ball back. Uh, Giselle Bunchen, sure. Tom Brady will go along with that. A night with, a night with Giselle, Giselle Bunchen, sure. Tom will go along with that. It's a deal. In other words, you know, uh, Tony Romo thinks it's a big joke uh, that, you know, that this fan will, you know, it's a joke. Giselle Bunchen for the ball. Yeah, Tom will be good with that. He'll trade off his wife uh, for the ball. Now, the reason I'm talking about this, too, is because, to me, this isn't about cancel culture. It's not about politics. It's in bad taste. It's disrespectful as a man. That's the way I feel. Now, look, I'm not married, and I don't have kids. And the kids part's going to come in important in a second, because I, I didn't know. But I read about Tony Romo, and he's married. He's got three boys. I think they're age 11, 7, and 4, I, I believe. Now, again... Again, I'm kind of talking out of my arena here, arena here because I grew up, my father died. I grew up as the man of the family from nine years old on with women. So I might be looking at this in a different way. To me, this is disrespectful. Uh, you know, implying that another man would trade his, his wife or his family member for a piece of a football. Or it's really more than that. A night, a night with Giselle Bunchen. Uh, I don't want to use the... Uh, W W H O R word here. Uh, yeah, but that's what it sounds. To me, it's disrespectful. Uh, again, I've never been married. If somebody said this about my girlfriend, it all depends. If they were a very close friend, I, I would kind of laugh, but I would, I would let them know that they're crossing a line here. That's not really funny. You know, you talk about my mom, my sister, my, my girlfriend, my wife, in that manner, uh, to me... It's disrespectful, to one man to another, uh, that to imply that you would do this, you know, that you would trade your wife like that. So, 
I think the the uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, the Western Journal said, "Oh, uh, cancel culture is coming for Tony Romo already." Now, do I think Tony Romo should be uh, fired or whatever for this? I don't think so, man. You know, I don't know. Maybe he's already called Tom Brady and apologized. I don't know. I think it was in bad taste. Uh, I think I think it was insulting and disrespectful, man to man. Uh, I don't think it was funny at all, really. Uh, it, it's it's interesting. I'll put, like I said, I'll put the links down below. And there was a lot of you know. There's either you thought it was funny, and you know everybody else should just uh, you know take a joke. Or you thought it was in bad taste. There was no in between with the, the tweets here. Um, I, I don't I, like I said. You now, not everything's funny, man. You know, and when you talk about hoeing out somebody's family member, man, that's you're crossing a line here. Um, and like I said, so Tony Romo's got three sons, and I imagine his sons are going to even at 11 years old, the oldest one, he's going to hear this. Now again, I grew up without a father from nine years on, nine years old on. But I, 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 I think I would, I would feel, I'd feel hurt if my father, if I had heard my father say something like that about my mother, it would bother me. I mean, it's disrespectful to 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 have your father look at another woman or sexualize another woman other than your mother, talk about another woman in that manner. To me, it would bother me. You know, but I grew up you know, decades ago, but, um, on several levels, it, it, it's just, to me, it's disrespectful. I, you know, do you, do you take it to the level where he loses his job? I don't know. I don't think so. It, you know, that's up to the, you know, honestly, that's up to the, the network. If enough people don't like him and, uh, their, their advertising sales start to suffer, you know, if the almighty green doesn't, doesn't keep coming in, he's going to get fired for it. You know, that's, that's what, that's, it's not cancel culture. You know, it's not the uh, radical left asking that everybody uh, minds their P's and Q's. It, it's not about that. It's a, it really comes down to what society accepts, you know, and, and the almighty dollar, really. That's what it's about. That's, you know, cancel. The only people that use those words, cancel culture, the only people that use those words are the right wing. People on the left don't don't even say that, you know. It's 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 just, it's just an, people have opinions, and if enough people have the opinion that this person just isn't funny no more, I don't want to see this person no more. This person gets on my nerves. This person bothers me. This person's disrespectful. I'm gonna turn the channel if this person comes on, you know. It, and if enough people do that, you get canceled, and that's all it is, man. You know, not everybody, this this 33% of people, apparently, that still love Donald Trump, not, it, you guys are the minority here. You know, it, it's not cancel culture. It's just the majority of people just don't think a lot of the things you guys think are funny is funny. All right, I'll be back later with another video. You guys, let me know what you think. Links will all be down below. You guys have a great Tuesday.